migrating Oracle databases from Amazon Web Services to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is an environment that matches and surpasses the performance, control, and governance of enterprise data centers, while delivering the scaling, elasticity, and cost savings of public clouds. Here are some of the unique advantages of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database when compared to Oracle Database deployments on AWS, RDS, or EC2 instances. Deploys the latest version of Oracle Database software. Deploys and uses all the features and options of Oracle Databases. Deploys Oracle Databases on the best cloud platform to meet and exceed the performance and availability demands of critical Oracle database workloads. Provides the best price performance for Oracle databases on the public cloud. Provides the ability to use different editions of Oracle with the same licensing model and a single database support model. Enables you to seamlessly implement and manage hybrid Oracle database environments on-premises and on the public cloud with no vendor lock-in. Implements real application clusters, RAC, for high availability and scalability of your Oracle databases. Enables you to implement your most demanding Oracle database workloads on the Exadata cloud service to get the best performance, scalability, and security from a platform engineered by Oracle to be the best platform to run Oracle databases. When you decide to migrate your databases to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, there are several options to consider. The migration method you choose depends on the following factors. Amount of downtime that the application can tolerate. Migration methods. Choosing your connectivity option based on speed, cost, and time. The most critical factor is the amount of downtime the application can tolerate. If the application can afford between 24 to 72 hours of downtime, consider performing an offline migration. If the uptime requirements for the database don't allow for prolonged downtimes and the migration has to be achieved with minimal to zero downtime, then consider an online migration. Migration methods is another factor to consider. Several tools are available for migrating from AWS to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. When you migrate very large databases, it's often beneficial to perform a physical migration because you don't have to rebuild the indexes, gather statistics, and so on after the migration. If you want to perform partial migrations, logical migrations are preferred. You may want to change the database layout, change character sets, change block sizes, or defragment the database. Another factor to consider would be choosing your connectivity option based on speed, cost, and time. Connecting via a cloud exchange. Connecting via an IPsec VPN. Also note that to migrate large databases, you would need to transfer large amounts of data from the source instances to the target instances over the network as quickly and securely as possible. A robust network with dedicated bandwidth and consistent low latencies ensures this data transfer is completed in a short time frame. There are several options to migrate Oracle databases from AWS to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The most popular among them are RDS Migration, Migrate Using AWS DMS, EC2 Migration, Data Pump Conventional Table Space Export or Import, EC2 Migration, Oracle Recovery Manager or RMAN Transportable PDB. EC2 Migration, Migrate Using RMAN. RDS Migration, with the AWS DMS, you can copy the full schema from the source database to the target database. You can also replicate all the changes from the source database to the target 
to keep the tables and data synchronized with the source until you decide to cut over to the database in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Data Pump is an Oracle utility that enables high-speed data transfer from one database to another. Use Data Pump to move an entire schema or multiple schemas from a source database that resides in Amazon EC2 to a database created in the database service on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. If you use multi-tenant databases and your source database is version 12.1 or later, you can use Oracle Recovery Manager, RMAN, to transport the pluggable database, PDB, from the source database to the destination. Oracle Recovery Manager, RMAN, provides all the necessary programs and processes to back up and restore your database efficiently. Since your database will be running on Linux platforms on AWS, you can directly use RMAN to back up the source database and restore it to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. RMAN has the necessary mechanisms to parallelize, compress, and encrypt backups on the source instance. Let us take a look at the details of the migration option using Recovery Manager. Run the following queries on the source database and note their output. Some initialization parameters need to be set in the SP file to have a smooth restore of the database on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The audit file destination is set to a new value, and the service name of the instance is set to the same name as in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The database unique name is set to the unique name as in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure using the following commands. Use RMAN to create a full backup of your source database and archive logs. RMAN places the backup files that it creates on a file system that you specify during the backup. The following command performs password-based encryption of the backup, and encrypted is the password used as an example. RMAN backs up the database to files that are stored in U01 backups in this example. Use an OS level secure copy utility to transfer the RMAN backup files from the source to the target instance. Ensure that you also copy the control file and SP file auto backup. Restore the SP file from the backup to the target host. In this command, you are using the DBID that you queried from the source database previously. Create a new text file in the Oracle underscore home slash DBS directory named initprddb.ora and add the following entry, which points to the SP file that you just restored. Modify the initialization parameters for the target. Restore the control file.
Now the database is mounted with a control file that you just restored. Restore and recover the database. In this command, you are using the online redo log file names that you queried previously. Once the restore and recovery is complete, your database on the Oracle database service is ready for use. Within the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure database service, all the database and data files for the table spaces are encrypted by default. At this point, we would perform the appropriate tasks to convert the table spaces to use TDE. We will also include the new location for the server parameter file in the cluster registry for database configuration using the SRVCTL command. Oracle RMAN has the ability to back up directly to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage Service from Amazon EC2 instances. Backing up to Object Storage has the following benefits. You do not have to provision Amazon Elastic Block Storage, EBS, on the source instance to store your RMAN backup. Object Storage provides you with unlimited storage. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.